Hello, welcome to Sun, Moon, Star, Tarot. My name is Gina. I want to thank you for tuning in today. These next four bell sounds are to remind us and to bless this reading. This reading is going to be for divine feminine. This could be any signs. I'm just going to write some sage as well to further bless this reading. And to thank your guides and your higher self for allowing me to tune into your energy. All right, so this is going to be for Divine Feminine as stated. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right. So this is just going to be a checkup with your energy. Nothing it shouldn't be too long, honestly. So what's going on with the divine feminine today? What is going on with the divine feminine? What is going on? And my nails look wonky. Um, I did not get them done because I broke this one. And so I'm waiting for it to heal, basically. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the bottom two. Two putting pulls on the bottom of the deck here. It's interesting that this card came out. I did a pick a card today on someone's page and I got the hard flowers down. So right off the bat, that's you like either looking outside of yourself and like kind of not finding what you're looking for here. With this eight of swords and that's the need for it like for you to unstuck yourself almost so it's like oh boy so we have twin flame coming out we have destruction coming out we have inner child coming out i don't know why this twin flame card has been like coming out so much lately so maybe you are connecting with someone who you believe may be a twin flame um but it's like this attitude of being stuck needs to be like destroyed we have separation coming in and then we have metamorphosis so there may be may have been a decision uh because two pentacles is top oh then we have the lovers so this may be around, may have been around a union or a friendship or something, but it's just something that you were very emotionally tied to. Um, and we had two of pentacles, so that's like a need to come into balance. God, what's happening right now? A need to come into balance and a need to make a decision. Um... The Hierophant represents outside wisdom and you seeking outside wisdom, but it also represents imbalance because really, I believe that we are like in an eternal source, eternal source of wisdom and there's nothing wrong with using sources outside of yourself, but it could also, it like could lead to this energy of like not knowing what to do or like you, you could be using outside sources because you don't know what to do. And we have destruction, so it's like something that you're needing to overcome. This is likened to the tower card. So it's like you needing to overhaul and come into a new perspective about something. And I feel like your inner child is wanting to create something with you. But like this situation or this energy is kind of like blocking it a little bit. Um, and it's something that you're passionate about, obviously, because it's an inner child. And then the pentacles is about co-creating. Um, with the universe and it's also linked to the empress as well 
So it's like abundance, but it's like it's being blocked a little bit. Um, and this, so you may be needing to manifest a separation here or yeah, I mean, that's basically what it's saying. It's just like talk, talking about manifesting separation or just cutting ties with something that no longer serves you. Uh, we do have, men God, what's happening? These cards will not like stay the way I want them to stay. God, because all the crystals I have on here. I'm sorry, like it's, I'm super, they have to be straight because it looks so much better when it's straight on camera. Anyways, that's a rant. Um, but we have more metamorphosis coming in here. Um, so it's like, that's you taking a leap of faith really and changing, right? And we also have free will here and we also have victim. So it's like, you may not be able to see a way out of the situation basically, but it's like you have free will, and you, but you're acting like a victim almost and not necessarily acting like a victim, but just taking on that mentality of being a victim of like not stepping into your power basically so that's a for all that i have for you divine feminines um i will see you again soon namaste